everyone and welcome back to our class. For today's lesson, we will be talking about direction, giving directions. If someone will ask you about direction, this lesson might help you answer those people asking you. So stay tuned and keep watching. But before we start, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so that you'll be notified every time I will upload videos. Thank you so much. Now let's get started. Now let's talk about giving directions. How you can ask for directions? Say excuse me before you ask a person to make it sound like question. Make your voice go up on me. Like, excuse me, how do I get to the railway station, please? Excuse me, where's the nearest post office, please? Excuse me, I'm looking for the number six bus stop. Now, in giving directions, the person who helps you often says how near or far the place is. Like, it's about five minutes from here, or it's about a 10 minute walk. It's easier if I can show you on the map. So, these are the specific instructions. Here are some useful words and phrases for giving directions on the street. Maybe you're helping a driver or someone who stops you to ask for directions. Turn left or right. Go straight on at the lights. When you come to the crossroads, lights, traffic lights, crossroads where two roads cross. Go across the roundabout. Roundabout where all the cars go around a circle in the middle of the road. Take the first turning road street on your left or right, turning road that goes left or right. You'll see or you'll come to a bank then. Don't take the first road. Go on for about two minutes or 100 meters. Now, these are the landmarks. We often make reference to landmarks when we give directions to help the other person. These can be places in a town, such as cinema, banks, bus stop, etc. They can also be parts of the road system. Here are some common terms. Taxi rank, a place where taxis queue for passengers. Level crossing where the road and railway meet. There are barriers that go up and down to signal when a train is coming. Underpass, a walkway that goes under a busy road so pedestrian can get to the other side safely. Overpass or flyover, a road that goes over another road or railway. Zebra crossing, Black and white markings in the road for pedestrians to cross the road. The markings look like a zebra's stripes. Pedestrian crossing, a place in the road where pedestrians can cross. Often, there are traffic lights. Tunnel, a road under or through mountains. Crossroads, where two roads cross each other. Junctions, where one road meets another and you can either go left or right. Fork in the road, where the road divides and you decide to go left or right. Turning, a road off to your left or right. Main road, a big road where there is lots of traffic. Lane, a small road or a part of a road, the left-hand lane, the right-hand lane, and the bus lane. So these are the prepositions used in giving directions. Go past, continue past something so that is, is now behind you. Go along, continue down a road. Go straight on, don't turn left or right. Go up walk or drive up a hill. 
Go down, walk or drive down a hill or a road. Go through, pass through something such as a tunnel or a town. Go out of, exit, example, railway station. It's in front of you. You can see it facing you. It's opposite the bank. It faces the bank. It's on the corner. It's where two roads meet at a 90 degree angle. Now here are the typical English conversations. Excuse me, I'm looking for the post office. Okay, go straight on then turn left at the crossroads. It's about 100 meters on your left. You can't miss it. Thanks. You're welcome. So that's it. I hope you learned something from our lesson today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much, and see you next time.